my name is Lincoln Ward. I'm the director of the Austin Tennis Center here in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to talk about a, the tiebreaker in tennis. The tiebreaker, there's a few different versions now, but the, the type that professionals still use is a seven-point tiebreaker. The goal of this, of this is to be the first person or team to win seven points, but you have to win by two. What that means is if the score is uh, six apiece, or six all, you have to win at least two more points to win that, that game. Um, so to make it 8-6. 7-5 would win because that's a win by two, but if the other team got their six points, then you'd have to win by two points, making it 8-6. Uh, generally, you start off with uh, one person serving one point, then the other person gets to serve two points. Then you go back and forth serving two points. Each, each, uh, each group serves two points until you have a total combined uh, score of six points. Every combination, every multiple of six, you're gonna switch sides of the court to keep it nice and, nice and fair and even. Um, that way it'll account for, for wind or, or if the sun is in an in a advantageous position. Uh, so generally, you use a tiebreaker when your set is, when your set count is six apiece, uh, or some people use them as a as um, a substitute for a third set. If you split sets, some some tournaments will have you play a, a tiebreaker instead of a third set just to save time. Um, the professionals added in the tiebreaker back when uh, TV. When TV really started to uh, focus on tennis, they wanted a way to know exactly how long a tennis match would last. So instead of continuing to play the the, the sets to 18, 16, or whatever, they decided to play a tiebreaker at six all. My name is Lincoln Ward, and that's a little bit about the tiebreaker.